So this has to probably be one of the craziest videos by far. This is the girl right here that claims that she has over 600 bodies. Basically, she has done 600 times with 600 different people. Like, do you even get checked? What makes you, what, what goes through your head to actually have that many bodies? We're gonna check this out right here. We gotta see what she's up to. What really stood out to me was when I saw her say that she had 500 bodies on Fresh and Fit. I think it was more. What's that number right now? We got 600. So she was on another podcast and she said it was 500, but now she said, I think it's more. I think it was more. What the heck? I, I think I even went up. We're going to call her 600 Breezy. All right. <laughs> yeah, Breezy was 600 bodies. Look at that. It's funny because, like, you could tell. You know, when you tell somebody, if we're being honest, when you tell somebody that you have that many bodies, the respect goes down for that person. And you can tell clearly right here that, like, when, you know, when he said that, she kind of got upset about it, but they don't care enough because at the end of the day, I mean, you already got 600 bodies, shorty. I think it was more. Your, your respect level is already, like, under the floor, if we're being honest. And I guess, apparently, this is the girl right here that actually does decide to call herself Demon Girl. So, I mean, if she called herself Demon Girl I, and I ran into her and she's talking about let's get freaky, I'm not even gonna lie. She lost me. You lost me. That's a lot. Let's do it. Yep. That's fire. I'm gonna be real with you, for real. Like, did you do it for, was there a, a hidden agenda to it or did you do it just because Facts. you just felt like? Monetary Facts. gain. Monetary gain. Monetary oh, gain. Monetary gain. So, if you guys don't know what that means, basically for money. She did it for money. So, 99 majority of those bodies is because they paid for those services. She might as well have a whole page that you could log into and purchase, like you're purchasing from a site. She said literally for monetary gain, and that's probably what she does. She probably has appointments for real, like a barbershop. So you were banging for money. <laughs> oh, yeah, but let's say well, I Well, yeah, she just says, well, yeah. I'm sexually interactive or whatever since I was 11. 11 is crazy. 11? Be honest, chat. You know, so we can get a little personal here. We're a family here. Comment down below. When did you lose the V-card? <laughs> but she said she started doing this when she was 11. Was she doing it for monetary gain then or what? What's up, bro? What? And how old are you now? I just turned 23. Okay. Yeah. 12 years what? in these streets. Yes, but... Six so this girl right here has started doing things when she was 11 years old. She is now 23 with over 600 bodies. This is just insane. 16 is when I started monetary gaining. You started prostituting yourself at 16? 16? 16? I think I heard something about that. Where... <laughs> Hold on. Adam, you started processing yourself at 16? Okay, that was, that was funny, though. But hold on, hold on. At 16? So at 16 years old is when she started basically saying... Take an appointment. You give me money, she gives you what you need. Wow. Wow. Yeah, there's probably girls who look at this girl as a girl they can look up to, see that she's making money from it, and do the same thing. That's sad, bro. Where you, would, uh, you were on seeking arrangements at yeah. 16 years old. Yep, I just put fake ID thing on there. I had a fake ID at the time. That's how I did it. How'd you get that? Someone from China. <laughs> What the and fuck? It, it worked. Wait, so, wait, right. wait, wait. We have to talk about this. So not only, hold on, hold on. I, I didn't even, that is blue. But went from one ear to the other. First of all, she had, a, she had to be over the age. She was doing it at 16 and she had a fake ID. So there are people out there who thought that she was the age because of the ID, but she was really only 16. What? I'm, I'm actually shocked. I'm really actually shocked, bro. I'm going to say this, right? I'm going to say this. Because what if, and just just throwing this out there, what if the man that you were going to see or men that you were going to see, right, they end up doing a sting on y'all, he get busted with you, and it looked like with an underage kid, but Facts. you really did put a fake ID on Facts. there to get it. It's kind of sinister. It's Facts. kind of fucked up, right? That, uh, now yeah. I see why her name is Demon Girl. She just said, well, yeah. Whatever you, you never got anybody caught up? No. They might be watching this right now doing the math like, oh, shit. Yeah, probably. <laughs> They're probably like, wait, wait, hold on. Wait, hold on. 
I did that eight years ago. She was, what? Hold on. Wait, what? That's what they probably doing right now. They probably scared as hell. Closing down all accounts, all messages, all that. It was quite a few in my hometown. Yeah. Quite uh, a few hometown in the hometown. Corpus Christi. They Corpus know who Christi. they are. <laughs> Ain't no way she just said that like that, bro. Realistically, for most of them, it probably wasn't the first time that they yeah. went under the legal age, right? Right. 17 is legal in Texas, but yeah, 16 is too much. Yeah. Jesus. So, so w w 16, what, what led you bro? to that? Do you think that you're just an extremely person or do you have some kind of childhood trauma? I think it was the complete opposite. Uh, yes, yeah, since I was developed very early, I almost wait, looked wait. like this when I was like 12. You still like, like you this. still kind of got a young body. I mean, that top is screaming child. I mean, I, I got. <laughs> I <a> mean, <laughs> wait, hold on. Okay, wait. Now. Okay, so <laughs> she's twenty three now. She is twenty three now. You feel what I'm saying? I, I ain't gonna. I was looking too because I'm just trying to think like what do people see. But at the end of the day, at the end of the day, if we're if we're gonna be honest here, guys, men in general, you feel me? They ain't gonna really pipe whatever walks if they get the chance to. You know what I'm saying? Don't be fooled. Don't be fooled. A lot of a lot of your the bros, you know, when they said they know, you know, they won't mess with a with a big bitty, you feel me? They they most likely will if they ever had the chance or it came close to it. So my question is like, how many different types of it's all I mean, here's the thing, like, does she get checked? Does she she has to get checked or something? I would hope. I mean, cause protection ain't, you know, I mean, protection gonna keep you safe, but is it gonna keep you that safe, if you know what I mean? Some people, you know, some people get a little too freaky. They don't really care no more. Take everything off. You know what I mean? Not me though, but I'm just saying. I mean, I, I got a I mean, job, so right? that's kind of, Well, what? I'm just saying, I'm looking at the, like, the little, like, flowers and shit. Oh. It I just kind of looks, no, the, the, the top looks very young. Makes sense. I you think I did I'm get saying? this in the children's section, so. You get what I'm saying? Like, am I? I don't think I'm tripping the fuck out when I say that. Yeah, like, no, nah, like, you're not tripping out. I'm right with you, my boy. I'm not gonna lie. I'm right with you. I'm a little kind of shocked too. The top just screams child, and the tattoos <laughs> and the eyeballs scream gothorama. Not fact. You did say you were the ultimate goth. Yeah. Cradle of filth. You did say that. Yeah, but I'm like not goth at all though. But I'm I like that's what wait, I wait. look like. But I, that's the thing, people think. So I'm... so she's not goth at all. A majority like ninety nine percent of people goth people you know they look like that. They look like this. You know what I'm saying? Well, I just don't understand. I, I just can't fathom. I can't fathom it, bro. Over 600 bodies? Like, see, it's crazy enough now when someone tells me, you know, what's your body count? They'll be like 20, 25. And that's even a lot because a body is not like a person you've went back to. You know, you've done it again twice, more than once. It's a different person each time. So that means she's had over 600 people inside her. That is tough, bro. I ain't gonna be saying too much, but you know what I'm trying to say here. You know what I'm trying to say here, right? I'm so goth and I'm all this, but I'm really not. But you're not actually involved in the subculture. You don't listen to the music. You don't like care about gothic causes. I don't no, know what their causes are, but no, like my favorite absolute artist that I listen to every day is Juice World. Well, Lil Peep. I'm not really gonna call him goth, but Juice World and Lil Peep are my favorite artists. But I don't really listen to screamo or any of that. You don't listen to any metal. No. The fact that you're calling it screamo kind of tells me that you don't listen to it, yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, not facts. Yeah, because I feel like a golf person, that is true. That is true, okay? I feel like if a you know, golf person wouldn't really call it, like, screamo music or scream music. So she doesn't portray as a golf type person. She just likes the way, like, it, I mean, I guess that's not what a golf person would really dress like or look like. Because I feel like a golf person anyway would have all black on, right? She got blue and butterflies and flowers on and stuff so i really feel like shorty's just what bro for monetary gain at 16 like i'm just looking down here 16 like are y'all not shocked as much as i am or am i am i is it od am i am i is it a little od i don't <laughs> so like it, it's different i ain't gonna lie like you know it's different like having the only fans and you make a fake when you get it like she went through the process of getting a fake id from china like she just said Putting it on a site where it looks like she's old enough. Like, was there not any other options? 
Did you not have any other options that you could have done? There was no other option she's could have. Wait, hold on. Look at her. She looking like she trying to get, she trying to get right with bro right here. You feel me? He, who knows what he's really looking at because he got the shades on. You know what he was already looking at earlier, bro. He tried to add to the 600 bodies. At what point did you decide that you wanted to start body modding? Um, body I modding? started getting tattooed at 14. Okay. Yeah, I had actually a boyfriend. I was 16. He was 28. And he... What? <laughs> 28 she was 16 is i think the more i keep watching this the more i keep getting she was 14 and he was 28 literally a whole 14 years apart what bro is this serious right here is this has got it this is this is real spill this is real life this can't be he, i was apprenticing to start so tattooing. wait let's go back he's oh, a 20 year old tattoo artist to, with a 16 year old not, girlfriend we're not I'm not just, I'm, I'm with you, Michael. We're not about to just skip over how you just said you was 14 and he was 28 like that, shorty. You know what I mean? We got to talk about that. You know, it's working for him or working for him. You know what I mean? Like, what you mean, bro? What? what, what? I'm not about to roll over that shit. Like, that shit's I know, okay, we're just bro. sitting here like it's nothing, not, right? Like, I'm cool with it because I'm just trying to let the conversation, like, play itself right. out. But that shit ain't fucking normal. She's already made it clear that this is totally, like, just a regular part of her coming up, but I guess. This, but this shit be a fucking problem, though, man, because what? look how you got somebody that's sitting here saying, yes, I was willing. But yes, that is that's the, what I wanted to do. That's yes, what, I, yeah, but see, yeah, I think that's still a child at the end of the day, and that just goes to show you there's a lot of people out here that are just, uh, that are like that. And it really be starting from the girl. And they just be thinking that, that, that it's okay. Like, that shit's okay. And like I said, there's a lot of guys out there that are desperate enough or who are fooled enough to think that, you know, it could keep this on the down low. I mean, you know, the guys that he, she was messing with, I mean, obviously, on the down low, she's 23 now. I don't think anything can happen, but that just goes to show you. That just goes to show you. I mean, this is a new video. This is, this is new. This was two months ago. Who knows? All over this gigantic world, bro. How many people are really doing this? And how many people are actually finding it okay? Real spill, bro. This shit is crazy.